Before we move forward, in this lecture, let's quickly implement the logout functionality in our Angular application. So currently, if we log into our application and if we click on this logout link, it is not going to do anything and it is not logging us out. So let's implement this functionality. For that, let's first go to VS Code and there, let's go to authservice.ts file. And there we are going to create a new function just like sign up and login. We are going to create one more function and we will simply call it as logout. And in order to log out a user, what we are going to do is just like when a user logs in, we are creating a user object using this handle create user method. So here we are creating a user object and then we are emitting that user. So in order to log out a user, we are simply going to emit null from that user subject. So for that, let's say this dot user, which is our subject dot emit. And actually it should be dot next. And using this next method, we are going to emit null. So now this user subject, this user behavior subject, it is going to emit null. And in this way, we are logging out the user by simply setting the user to null. And this will make sure that our entire application treats the user as unauthenticated because that's the logic we have been using everywhere, right? So if the user is authenticated, that means this user subject, it is going to return, it is going to emit a valid user object. Otherwise, it is going to emit null. So if it is going to emit a valid user object, that means the user is authenticated because a valid user object will be emitted only when a user logs in or signs up. Otherwise, if it emits null, in that case, the user is not validated. So this is the logic we have been using so far in this application. Now let's go to our header component and let's link this logout method to the logout link. So here, first of all, I will close this auth interceptor. Let's open header component.html. There we have this logout button. On this logout button, we are going to bind click event. And to this click event, let's assign a method on logout. Okay, you can name it anything. And now we are going to create this on logout method inside the component class. So let's open header component.ts. There, I'm also going to create this on logout method. And from here, inside this header component, we are already injecting an instance of this auth service. So let's first access that auth service. And in there, we have this logout method. So we want to call that logout method. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to our application. And there, let's first log in. For that, if you see, currently we are logged out. Currently, no user is logged in in this application. That's why we are only seeing home and login. Now, if I enter a credential, so for example, this John Smith at gmail.com and his email address, I mean his password. And when I click on this login button, now we are logged into our application and you can see home dashboard and logout link. Now, when I click on this logout link, we have been logged out from the application. That's why you're only seeing the home and login link. You're not seeing the logout link and the dashboard link. But we are still in the dashboard page. So what I want is once the user is logged out, we want to redirect him to the login page. So let's also write that logic. Now that logic we can write in the component class, like we can write it here. Or since we are going to use this logout logic at multiple places because we want to log out the user once the logout link is clicked. And also we want to automatically log out the user from our application if the token expires. So we are going to use that logout logic multiple places. So that's why instead of writing that navigation logic here, I'm going to write it inside the logout function of this auth service. Because whenever we want to log out a user, we are going to call this logout method of this auth service. And we are going to call it from multiple places at multiple times. So that's why I'm going to write that navigation logic here. Now, in order to navigate a user, first of all, in this class, we need an instance of router link. So let's create a variable router. And here we want an instance of router class. So to ask Angular to inject an instance of this router class, we're going to use this inject method. And there we will specify the type as router. And in order to use this router, we also need to import it from angular slash router. So this is the first step. Next, in the logout method, we are going to access that router. 
the instance of that router and on that we are going to call the navigate method so here we want to navigate a user programmatically and there we are going to specify the path as login all right let's save the changes and let's test it one more time so let's go back to our application let me first restart the application so currently no user is logged in let's click on this login link and i'm going to log in again using john smith account i'll specify the password and i'll click on this login link this login button so it is logging in us so it has logged us in and it has redirected us to this dashboard page and you can also see the dashboard link and logout link now when i click on this logout link it has logged us out so we can see only home and login link and it has redirected us to login page so this functionality is working as expected so this is a simple logout functionality which we wanted to add for our application so we have done that this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day